have you been trying something and you're not getting the results that you got before? And you're wondering what the heck, what's the problem? Hey guys, Melissa here with Coaching with Melissa, where I help my brick and mortar businesses be the only option in town. And I come in every week to share with you tips, tools, and strategies that I've learned in my brick and mortar business to help you in yours. I am going to be very transparent, very transparent here. I own a dance studio and we have we specialize in littles. We teach from two and up, but we really specialize in that 10 and under age. And I have been in business 12 years, 12 years running my dance studio. And I started out doing camps, all right? And those camps sold out right away. And each year we either added more or we tweaked, okay? So we always did something a little different. And this year, the 12th year in business, we are offering the most camps that we've ever offered. And things are just not selling as well. And I'm questioning why. I'm really analyzing why is this not working? Is it because we, you know, is it because it's too many? You know, we spread out the market too much you know there's too many offerings so therefore we're not getting the numbers that we needed or is it because of COVID people are traveling or is it because um, people just want a longer time frame they don't want that shorter time frame anymore so we are truly analyzing and looking at everything and having that moment and I had it last week where I was just really frustrated. I was like, what in the world? We have been marketing, we have been emailing, we have been um, being on top of all of this. We have pulled people, we've asked them what they wanted. What is going on? Why isn't this why aren't the numbers coming in like I wanted? And I had a pity party. I just had a day where I was just like frustrated, really frustrated. But then sleep is a wonderful thing. <laughs> And you wake up and you go, okay, what are we gonna do? And we gotta do something different. And we gotta, we gotta figure that out. And I'm not quite confident what that different is or if we can even be done yet this year. Um, I, I am doing some marketing things different right now going forward, but I'm just going to really, really dive into the numbers of when we offer things and the numbers of uh, clients that we get in those time frames, and just be super, super analytical about it, with the you know with the umbrella that this is still a weird year, a off year. People are traveling more because now things are opening up. So you know things are just different. It's just a different year. But I am not willing to say it's a different year, and that's that's why numbers aren't where I want them. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to cave to that. So that's what I am learning in my business is sometimes you offer things and you tweak them and they get better and they get better. And then all of a sudden they don't work anymore or they don't work to your expectation. And you really have to go another, you know, another pivot. And I just find that so interesting. You know, 12 years in business, I've been doing these camps, tweaking them, getting them better, getting the marketing better. And then you still hit that plateau and have to figure it out. So that's the way it is. We're always learning, we're always tweaking. So a little bit vulnerable there. I hope that helped you. I hope you just saw that we're all learning and figuring it out at every level, no matter where you are, beginner, more advanced, or been in, your t been in business 20 years, we're always learning and figuring it out and tweaking and growing, okay? Have a great week comment below if anything resonated resonated and check out the podcast seo has been a great series people are really liking it uh, they're dming me and um, getting a lot of takeaways from it so if you haven't grabbed the podcast please listen to it would love to have you be part of the tribe have a great weekend peace bye, -bye.